Holy crap, guys, Disney literally just came out and gave us the slate of their next eight years. And this includes all of the Marvel movies we'll get in the next eight years and all of the Star Wars movies we will get in the next eight years. There's a lot of stuff to break down in here, including what movies we think we'll see when and why there is such a scarcity of Star Wars movies in the next eight years. It's like the news, but for nerds. Subscribe so you never miss an episode. Today's shout out goes to Grayson Winspear. Indeed, Vulture will not be in Far From Home. We'll do another nerd card question at the end of this video. What is up, everybody? Happy Wednesday to you. I'm, of course, Josh. This is the Den of Nerds, and we've got a jam-packed episode for you today. We've got a lot to get to into this episode, but yeah, we're talking about all of the future movies coming from Disney, including the Marvel movies and including the Star Wars movies. It's a lot of shock, surprises, and kind of confusion when this list came out, so let's just get into it and break it all down. And for the record, we're going to to start with the Marvel movies and then we will move into explaining the Star Wars Avatar flip-flopping situation. So check this out guys, I think the place I want to start with is the fact that after Spider-Man Far From Home, the next Marvel movie will not hit theaters until May of 2020. This is a huge gap. We haven't seen a gap like this in when Marvel movies are coming out since literally after Avengers 1. And in that year, which is next year, 2020, Marvel is only releasing two movies and they have a huge time gap between them. One comes out in May and the other one comes out in November. Then in 2021, you have three Marvel movies slated, one in February of 2021, one in May, and then one in November of 2021. 2022 also has three Marvel movies, one slated in February, one slated in May, and then another slated in July. Now the overall takeaway here is that 2020 is going to be a super light year for Disney as far as theatrical stuff goes with some of these big brands. That includes Marvel and Star Wars, which we'll get into in a minute, but I think it just kind of denotes that they're gonna focus heavily on the digital platform. Disney Plus is where their focus is next year. Now let's speculate about what movies we think we're gonna be getting in these slides and we'll start with 2020 and we think that next year the two movies will be the Black Widow movie and then the Eternals movie. There's been a lot of noise and rumors about these movies being streamlined. Black Widow is apparently gonna be shooting by the end of this year so it makes sense it would take up the early slot in 2020 and then the Eternals will come out as the late movie in 2020. Then in 2021, a lot of people believe we will be getting Doctor Strange 2, Black Panther 2, and then Shang-Chi. Now, I personally think that both Black Panther 2 and Doctor Strange 2 could be really, really big, kind of bombastic films. They could take sort of certain big comic book events and adapt them into those. Doctor Strange, obviously very powerful. Wakanda and Black Panther, very powerful, influential. I think those will be big, big movies. Shang-Chi kind of strikes me as a little bit more of a personal movie. You know, it'd be sort of an origin story for this, our first true kung fu movie in the MCU, which I'm very excited for. But then when it gets to 2022, we're really not sure what three movies Marvel has slated there. A lot of people are speculating Captain Marvel 2. Some people are saying this is when we will get Guardians of the Galaxy 3. It's also possible we get the first of the Fantastic Four movies or something Fox brought into the MCU. A lot of people thought it was interesting that this is called untitled Marvel movies and not untitled MCU movies. So it's very possible that we're gonna be getting something like the Fantastic Four or something from Fox in 2022. Also, and I really don't think this is a big surprise to anyone out there, but there's no Avengers movie on this slate anywhere, and yeah, that means we're done with Avengers movies for at least the next several years. All right, let's get into the Star Wars stuff, and then I want to talk about kind of like what this means for nerds, what this means for like the content here on the channel. That's what we'll end the video with. But as far as Star Wars is concerned, man, 2020, no Star Wars movie. Now, we've been speculating about that for a long, long time. Ever since Solo, A Star Wars Story bombed and they sort of decided to take a step back from doing those kind of movies, you know, the spin-off movies, the Star Wars Story movies, whatever you want to call them. Ever since that was made as an announcement, we're like, okay, so that last third movie, probably not coming out in 2020, means we're going to get a 2020 without a Star Wars movie. However, in 2021, we begin the one-two punch of sort of rotating back and forth between Avatar sequels and Star Wars movies. And what's interesting is, Avatar's going first. That means no Star Wars movie in 2020, no Star Wars movie in 2021, and all the way into December of 2022, is when we get our first next Star Wars movie after Star Wars Episode Nine. That's like three years. That's like a long freaking time. 
Then we flip back and forth like Star Wars movie in December, Avatar movie in December, Star Wars movie in December, Avatar movie in December, all the way up to 2026 is when we will get the final of whatever that trilogy is that the Star Wars movies are, are doing. Now, even though it says untitled Star Wars movie, the smart money is actually on this being the Dan and Dave trilogy, which we think will have to do with the Old Republic. There's a lot of leaks and rumors talking about that. You know, Dan and Dave are just finishing up with the final season of Game of Thrones. It makes sense that they would take that three year time period to both plan and begin to produce this trilogy. Okay, so let's break down what this means for nerd culture and what this means for like content here on the channel. I mean, first of all, I think that 2020 is gonna be a super light year as far as like films are concerned. But as I said earlier, I really do believe that Disney's gonna focus on the Disney Plus platform and we will get a lot of content like the Mandalorian, like the Falcon Winter Soldier series, like the WandaVision series, a bunch of MCU stuff going on Disney Plus and a bunch of Star Wars stuff, maybe the Cassian Andor show, Clone Wars season seven, a lot of cool stuff is going to be happening in 2020, but I really feel like that's Disney's year to sort of try to push focus from the things people are missing, like big Star Wars movies, big impactful Avengers movies. Those things will sort of be replaced by content on the Disney Plus streaming platform. And this overall slate just shows a big focus towards the digital service, just towards digital media in general, like taking your time with Star Wars stuff in the theater, but continuing to build it on the Plus platform, you know, sticking to two to three Marvel movies a year, but then having Disney Plus for a way to put extra content out. Now, as far as what this means for us here on the channel, I, I'm not concerned at all, guys. It's just, first of all, it's the way things are, so we sort of have to accept it. But also, I think these are the right kind of moves, particularly with Star Wars, which I will do a detailed video on Star Wars Sunday this week about what I think about this gap and what I think this means for Star Wars overall. I actually think it's pretty positive. But in general, I think this will allow us here on the channel to, to provide new types of content for you guys that can sort of satisfy your hunger as you wait for these next big, big productions. This includes like theory, this includes like lore, a lot of Q and A's, just a lot of fun will be had discussing our favorite things like we always have sort of while we are trying to see what happens next. Please let us know in the comment section what do you think about this news, the, the crazy slate for Marvel, the super weird slate for Star Wars, all of the content coming to Disney+. Plus. Let me know your thoughts about that and is there certain kinds of video or content that you'd like us to be making while all of this is going on? Let us know that as well. Now let's check the nerd card before we get out of here. I want to know after 2027, how many Avatar films will there be out there? How many films in the Avatar franchise will be in the bucket after 2027? Let me know that in the comment section below. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and I'll see you in the next video.